Welcome learners, I am Divyanath. Today we are going to discuss about module 3, lesson 6, collection and classification of data part 2. Now in this module we are going to learn about the concepts of frequency distribution, methods of constructing frequency distribution and in the last we are going to discuss about construction of simple and cumulative frequency distribution from a given data. Now students let's start with the class. In the previous chapter we have learned about frequency arrays. We know now that in frequency arrays the data is ungrouped data. To group the data we need to make frequency distribution. So frequency distribution classifies the data into groups. Let's take an example to understand it better. Suppose your teacher wants to know how many students have got marks between 20 to 30. Definitely in this case we need to make a frequency distribution. So once we know about frequency distribution before discussing the methods of constructing frequency distribution we must know certain important concepts. Now these concepts are going to help us to understand frequency distribution better. So let's start with the very first concept class. What is a class? A class is a group of magnitudes having two ends called class limits. Now in this example you are able to see different classes. Class 1 is 10 to 15. Next class is 15 to 20. In, we can see in both the cases we have got two ends. Now let's discuss the second concept. The second concept is class limits. We must know what is class limits. Every class has two boundaries or limits called lower limit and upper limit. Now let's see with the help of example and understand it better. Now in this class, the class 1 is given as 10 to 15. Here the lower limit is 10 and the upper limit is 15. Whereas in the next class as you can see 15 is the lower limit and upper limit is 20. So we now know what do we mean by the term class limits and how many limits are there. Now let's discuss about the third concept class interval. The difference between the two limits of a class is called class interval. That means the gap between the lower limit and upper limit is known as class interval. Now the question comes how we can calculate it? We can calculate it just by subtracting lower limit from the upper limit. Now let's see it with the help of an example. Here the class is 10 to 15. So what is the lower limit? 10 is lower limit, 15 is upper limit. Now if I want to identify class interval from this class, how can I get it? Now let's calculate. Here upper limit is 15 minus lower limit that is 10. So we get class interval of 5. Hence we have learned about class interval also. Now the next concept is class frequency. Now we can see in this example every class is having frequency. What does it mean? It shows total number of items falling in a class that is having the value within the lower limit and upper limit. Similarly, as we can see in each class, the frequencies are being given. For 10 to 20, the frequency is 2. 20 to 30, the frequency is 4. Now, the next concept is about midpoint, often known as mid value. The mid value of the class interval of a class is also called as midpoint. Now how do we get this midpoint or mid value? We have to simply just do one thing. First we have to add up the lower limit and the upper limit. So the first step is we need to add up the lower limit and the upper limit. And now we have got how many limits? We have got two limits. So what we are going to do is that to calculate mid value we are going to divide this sum of limits by and we will be able to get the mid value. Now let us see with the help of an example. In this the first class is 10 to 20. 
Now, if I want to calculate the mid value, how I am going to get it? Lower limit is 10, upper limit is 20. We are going to first add up both the limits. So, 10 plus 20, first step that comes to 30. The next step is I have to divide this 30 by 2 because we have got how many limits? We have got 2 limits. So, 30 divided by 2 gives me 15. Likewise, for the next class, lower limit is 20, upper limit is 30. So, what is the sum? 30 plus 20 comes to 50. 50 divided by 2, 25. Now, we are also observing one more thing. For the first class, the mid value was 15. For the next class, the mid value was 25. And what is the gap between them? 10. Now, let us cross check. Even each class is having the same gap. So, once I know or I have calculated the first midpoint and if the series is exclusive, then we can easily know what will be the next mid value. Here we can say in the first class interval, the mid value is 15, the second is 25, the third is 35 and the fourth is 45. So, once we have done with the concepts of frequency distribution, we are able to construct different types of frequency distribution. Students, there are five types of frequency distribution which we are going to learn. The very first is exclusive series, the second is inclusive series, the third is open end series, the fourth is unequal class series and the fifth cumulative frequency series. Now, we are going to discuss each of the series in detail. Learn what is about that series, what are the key features about the series, then we are going to discuss it with the help of an example. So, let us start discussing different types of frequency distribution. The very first exclusive series. Now, in this type of series, one of the class limits that is upper limit is excluded while making a tally chart. That means, in this particular example, 0 to 5. 5 value is not included while making a tally chart. So, once again in this type one of the class limits that is upper limit is excluded while making a tally sheet. Any item having the value equal to upper limit of a class is counted in the next class. So, we have done up till two things. Very first the upper limit is not counted in that class. First thing we have learned to make a tally chart. The next thing what we have learned is that that it will be counted in the next class. Now the third thing the difference between the each class and we know what is it class interval is same. Let us see that all these three features are complied in this particular example. So, 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20. What we are observing? Then the upper limit is the next lower limit. Next thing, the class interval gap is also same. And the most important thing, while I am going to make tally chart, the value of 5 will not included in the first class, it will be included in the next class. Now, let us see with the help of an example. When we see this particular example, the question says, Marks obtained by 30 students in economics are as follows. We are doing economics, that's why I have written over here also the word economics. So, we are talking about that how many students have got marks? 30 students have got marks in economics. Now, the data is being given. Very first question for the normal student. What gap should I take for the class intervals? Normally, if your value, total number of students are high, then you can take the class interval gap of 5, 10, 20, it is up to you. But if the number of variables, that means number of students are less, then you can take small gaps. That means you can take a gap of 2, 3 or 5. It is up to you. Now, in this question, as we can see, there are how many students? 30 students. So, we can take a gap of 5. Let us first construct the classes and then we are going to make tally bars. And from that tally bars, we are going to discuss about frequency. So, first step, we are going to form the classes. That means, we are going to give the heading for the classes first, marks. So, 0 to 5, very first, then 5 to 10, second, 
10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, 25 to 30. We can see the number of variables starts from 0 and ends up to 29. So, that is why we have taken from 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25 and 25 to 30. Now, students note the following points over here. The upper limit of the previous class is next lower limit. So, while we are making an exclusive series, we have to see that first thing. Second thing, the gap between the series remains same. The class interval gap remains the same. So, every time we are having same gap 5. Now, the main point, if I have to construct it, I have to find out the frequencies for this particular classes, then I have to make tally bars. So, the next column what we have made is a tally bar and then as we have learned in the previous class, we have to make a frequency column. Now, let us see how we have constructed it. So, the most important thing in exclusive series, the value of 5 in the first class will not be included in that class, rather in, it will be included in the next class. So, let us check for the very first class. So, if we observe 0, 1 tally bar, then we have got the value of 5, we are not going to take in this class, then we are going to have a value of 4 and likewise we have values below 5 that means 0 to 4, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, we have made 1 tally, then the total is 4, we have written in the frequency column. Likewise, in the next class, 5 to 10. Here we are going to count the value of 5 and we will move till 9. We will not count the value of 10 in this class. Here we have got how many tallies? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We will just put a diagonal strike to make it 5, 6, 7. So, 7 tallies are being there. We have put the frequency 7. Likewise, we are going to construct all the tally bars and frequency for the particular classes. So, students we have learned about exclusive series very first the class interval gap remains the same. Second, the upper limit of the previous class is the next lower limit. Third, the value of the upper limit does not include the value in that particular class rather it will be included in the next class. So, we are clear with the exclusive series, we can discuss about inclusive series. Now, what is an inclusive series? In this type, the lower limit of the next class is increased by one more over the upper limit of the previous class. That means, the upper limit of the previous class is not the lower limit of the next class. So, what is the difference? In exclusive series, we have just learned that the upper limit was equal to the lower limit of the next class. But over here, what we are learning that the upper limit of the previous class is added with 1 and then we get the lower limit of the next class. So, I am once again repeating in this type, the lower limit of the next class is increased by 1 over the upper limit of the previous class both the items. Now, the next thing that means lower limit and the upper limit are included in the class to make a tally chart. Now, the third thing over here also the class interval gap remains the same as you can see 0 to 4. We have added 1 to the upper limit of the previous class to make the next lower limit 4 plus 1 becomes 5. So, 5 to 9. In both the cases, we can see the gap remains same. Again, 9 plus 1 becomes 10 for the lower limit for the lower limit of the next class. Likewise, we have constructed 0 to 4, 5 to 9, 10 to 14, 15 to 19. Here we have observed that the class interval gap remains the same. Second thing, the upper limit is not equal to the lower limit of the next class. Next thing, here both the limits, lower limit and the upper limit is included to make a tally bar. Let us see how we can do it when we do it. 
with the help of raw data. Marks obtained by 30 students in economics are as follows. So again the same question is there but now this time we are going to construct inclusive series. So marks lower limit for that we have got 0 and we will move to 4. So again we have a gap of 5. Now we are first constructing the classes then we are going to make tally bars and after that we are going to do frequency. So let's start with the construction of classes 0 to 4. Now students for the next class I will add 1 in the upper limit that means 4 plus 1 becomes 5 for the next lower limit. So 5 to 9 again a gap of 5 then again 9 plus 1 becomes 10, 10 to 14 again gap of 5 likewise we are going to construct all the classes. Now once I have constructed the classes then the step comes I have to count the tally bars. Over here the difference is from the exclusive series here both the limits are being counted whereas in exclusive series only upper limit was not counted. Let us see. So we are going to count this time 0 and then we will see it 4, 4 will be also counted likewise we are able to have 4 tally bars 1, 2, 3, 4 and frequency becomes 4. For 5 to 9 again when we check 5 will be included so we are going to count 5 we will move towards till 9 and here we get 1, 2, 3, 4 again we put a diagonal to make it 5, 6, 7 hence we are writing over here 7. Likewise we are going to construct each classes for the tally bars and for the frequency. In this way we have learned how to construct inclusive series also. Now what is the difference between exclusive and inclusive series? That in case of exclusive series upper limit is not counted in the class whereas in case of inclusive series both lower limit as well as upper limit both are counted in the class to make tally bars. Second thing in exclusive series upper limit of the previous class is the next lower limit. Whereas in case of inclusive series when we talk about here upper limit of the previous class is not equal to the lower limit of the next class. So students we have learned how to construct exclusive series and inclusive series. Now we will discuss about open end series very easy to construct in case of open end frequency distribution one of the end that means either the lower limit of the first class or the upper limit of the last class is not given. In that case it will be called as open end classes. It may be possible that both are open that means in the first case lower limit is not given of the first class and the last limit of the last class is not given. So once again when we talk about open and frequency distribution it is one which has at least one of its ends open. You will observe that either lower limit of the first class or upper limit of the last class or both are not given in such series. So let us take an example. In this particular example I have just taken it from the exclusive series. What I have done over here I have not written 0 to 5 the first class I have written below 5. Now when I have written this below word that means it is an open below 5 any value below 5 can be counted in this. Now let us see the last class 25 and above in exclusive series it was 25 to 30 over here I have written 25 and above that means any value above 25. Now rules the rules remain same as for the construction of exclusive series that means 5 in the very first class will not be counted to make tally bar. Again I am saying 5 in the first class will not be counted to make a tally bar. So open end series is a very simple series where either or both the ends of the extreme classes are not given. So students we have learned about open end classes now we can discuss about unequal classes as the word suggests. In case of unequal classes frequency distribution 
the width of different classes need not be the same. So, I am saying it may happen for the first class the class interval is 5, for the next class the class interval is 5, but for the next class the class interval is 10. So, such a case is known as unequal classes. Let us see it with the help of an example. Now, in this particular example if we observe marks have been given. So, the classes have been given. Let us observe the classes very importantly that is 0 to 5. The first class is having gap of 5. In the next class when we talk about the gap is again of 5, 5 to 10, but in the next class the gap is of 10 to 15 again 5. But when we move towards 15 to 25 what we observe? the gap becomes 10. So, we are here observing that in some of the classes the gap is 5 whereas, in case of other class the gap is 10. Now, in this thing we do not have to do anything new for the construction only the matter is again the rule of exclusive series applies. So, exclusive series is very important here 5 will not be counted in the first class, 10 will not be counted in the ne next class and in the third class 15 will not be counted, in the fourth class 25 will not be counted, 30th class uh, 30th we do not count over here it will move towards the other type of value. Now, over here when we talk about different classes now the thing is that we are noting one main important point that the upper limit of the previous class is the next lower limit. Let us see 0 to 5, next is 5 to 10, the next is 10 to 15, the next is 15 to 25. Though the class interval gap is different, but still upper limit of the previous class is the next class lower limit. So, we have learned about unequal classes also. Now, cumulative frequency a very important series. A cumulative frequency distribution is formed by taking successive totals of given frequency that means, in this case we will successively add up the given frequencies. Let us see how cumulative frequency can be constructed. Cumulative frequency can be constructed in two ways very first less than cumulative frequency distribution, second more than cumulative frequency distribution. Now, we know if somebody tells you to construct cumulative frequency distribution you have to ask whether I should construct less than cumulative frequency distribution or I should construct more than cumulative frequency distribution. Now, we are going to discuss each of the method to construct cumulative frequency in detail with the help of an example. Very first less than cumulative frequency distribution what does it shows? It shows the total number of observations that means frequencies having less than a particular value of the variable that means agar if we talk about in the previous example that is marks. So, let us see with the help of an example how we are going to construct less than cumulative frequency distribution. We are taking the same example which we have taken to construct exclusive series and the marks obtained by 30 students in economics are as follows. There are two ways to construct less than cumulative frequency distribution. One you make first exclusive series which is easier for you, other you directly make a less than cumulative frequency distribution from raw data. Now, this will be a little higher level of knowledge and content is required because you have to first analyze what will be for exclusive series then you will in your mind convert it to cumulative frequency series. So, it is always advised for the students to first construct exclusive series. So, let us see we have constructed the exclusive series from the above marks we can construct exclusive series as 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, 25 to 30. The frequencies are 4, 7, 5, 7, 3, 4 the first step some total of frequency need to be calculated. This will help and give us a cross check. So, every question should have a cross check while we are converting from one series to other. So, the total of the frequency is 30 we have learned this now how to construct less than cumulative frequency distribution from it. Now, when we talk about less than cumulative frequency distribution 
in this case we are going to use the upper limits. So, the upper limit for the classes are for 0 to 5, 5 is the upper limit. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 upper limit. So, we are going to write less than 5, less than 10, less than 15, less than 20, less than 25, less than 30. So, we have constructed the classes. Now, less than 5 means the total frequency for 0 to 5, 4. Now, when I say less than 10, it means all those frequency which were there for 0 to 5 as well as 5 to 10 class. That means 4 plus 7. So, now for less than 10 marks, how many students are there? 4 plus 7 that comes to 11. Now, if I say how many students have got marks less than 15, then in this case, I have to add up 4 plus 7 plus 5 that comes to 16. Or we can do one thing, we have already added up 4, 4 plus 7 is equals to 11, then we are going to add 11 with 5, 11 plus 5 comes to 16, it is either way you want to do it by, you can do it by any way. Now, less than 20, less than 20 means all those students who have secured marks less than 20, that means either I can do 4 plus 7 plus 5 plus 7 or I can easily add up with the previous 23, 16 plus 7, 23, right. In this way, we can construct cumulative frequency. So, we now know we can construct cumulative frequency as 4, 4 plus 7, 11. The next frequency is 5, 11 plus 5 comes to 16. The next frequency is 7, so 16 plus 7 comes to 23. The next frequency is 3, 23 plus 3 is equals to 26. The next frequency of the last class is 4, 26 plus 4 is equals to 30. Now, we have seen over here that the sum total of the frequency was 30 and in the cumulative frequency also we are getting 30. This is a cross check, we must get answer 30 in the last as cumulative frequency over here. After this, we can construct more than cumulative frequency distribution. What do we mean by more than cumulative frequency distribution or what does it shows? It shows the total number of observation, here observation means frequencies having more than a particular value of the variable, here variable means marks. So, we now know that the more than cumulative frequency distribution shows the total number of observation that is frequencies having more than a particular value of the variable. Now, let us see it with the help of an example, how we can construct more than cumulative frequency distribution. Now, in this example, again we have taken the same example, so that we know what is the difference. First, we have constructed exclusive series, as I have told you, it is always advisable that you first construct an exclusive series and from that exclusive series, you convert it into cumulative frequency distribution that is of more than or less than it is up to you. Now, we have taken the same question, so exclusive series remains the same. Now, let us see what would be the change, how we are going to convert this exclusive series into cumulative series that too of more than one. Now, in case of more than one, we are going to use the lower limits. In the classes, as we can see, the lower limit starts from 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. So, we are going to write more than 0, more than 5, more than 10, more than 15, more than 20, more than 25. The first step. So, we have constructed the more than classes. Now, the frequency total is 30. So, if somebody tells you more than 0 marks, how many students have secured? More than 0 means 0 to 25 or 30, whatever the mark, uh, marks are there in your class. Each and every student is being counted in this. That means the total number of the frequency must be written over here. That means I am to, I'm going to write for more than 0, 30 total number of students. So, we have counted each and every student, that means 30. The first class, 
more than 0, we have got cumulative frequency 30. So, we can see the total comes on the top. Now, if I say more than 5, that means 0 to 5 is not included. Let us see the exclusive series. For 0 to 5, the frequency is 4. So, for more than 5, I need to subtract this value. 30 minus 4 is equals to 26. For next class, more than 10 means I need to exclude 0 to 5 and 5 to 10 frequencies. That means 26 minus 7 that comes to 19. Likewise, for more than 15, it would be 19 minus 5, 14. More than 20, 14 minus 7 is equals to 7. More than 25, 7 minus 3 is equals to 4. Now, here also we have got a cross check. What is a cross check? See, the last class in exclusive series 25 to 30, we are having frequency of 4. Over here in cumulative frequency series, more than 25, the frequency is 4. So, this is the cross check. We need to remember that whether we have done it right or not. So, students, we have learned up till now about less than cumulative frequency distribution and more than cumulative frequency distribution. So, students, we have learned about how to construct less than cumulative frequency distribution and more than cumulative frequency distribution. Now, let us have a quick recap what we have learned in this class. We have learned about the frequency distribution which classifies the data into groups. We have also learned about how to get frequency distribution converted from one and each that means from inclusive to exclusive, exclusive to cumulative frequency distribution. In this we have also learned about the class, class limits, class widths and in the last we have also discussed all these in detail that is exclusive series, inclusive series, open end, unequal classes, cumulative less than and more than. I hope you have learned many concepts from this class and we are able to do much better in the next class. Thank you.